Hey YouTubers, Smoker Sherlock here. Long time no see. Some of you may ask where I've been. Long story short, I am not very computer savvy and I am terrible at remembering my passwords. A while back, uh, YouTube did an update and using my phone. I keeps me logged in and I completely forgot my password not too long ago I ended up getting back into my account and uh, been a lurker ever since I'd like to get uh, making videos again when I started making videos I really had no business at making videos, didn't know what I was doing, just starting to learn. But now that I got a little bit of experience under my belt, I think I'm ready. Today I am smoking some Old Joe Krantz in the Corn Cob Nation 2016 pipe. Great stuff. Just for this video, I just wanted to uh, give a brief description of my journey so far. I have always been interested in the pipe. Started cigarettes when I was really young. Uh, then when I turned 18, bought a couple of pipes and some Super Value cherry and whiskey, I believe. One of the first pipes I bought was this corn cob. It's pretty old. And I bought this no name briar. After about half of each bag, I thought maybe this wasn't for me. And for a few years, I smoked cigarettes. And then uh, that went on for about five years before I finally joined Facebook and YouTube I found the pipe community and started learning and like most people that want to make videos I started making videos before I really knew what I was talking about Well, when I started up the pipe again, I made the same mistake and started with aromatics again. This pipe right here, I believe is a Bjorn Viking. This is the pipe I really learned how to smoke on. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is blistered all to hell. One of my favorite pipes. Since then, I have tried all different kinds. What really set it off for me is when I found Prince Albert and discovered I love Burleys. Burleys are my favorite. I've tried all different kinds. Got English, Vapors, Virginias, uh, all different kinds. Mainly, I like a good burly and an English with the occasional vapor or Virginia. I've tried Balkans. I'd like to start doing tobacco reviews again, but they will be my opinion. Uh, I'm not the best at describing certain flavors. I know if I like it or if I don't. I'm not too... I'm not an expert by any means. Uh, pipes. I like a good briar. My favorite shapes would be bulldogs, pokers and bent billiards although I like my uh, briars I love my cobs uh, 
I have since bought many many pipes but cobs will always be my favorite uh, I like mod cobs that's my neighbors uh, I've got plenty of mod cobs I've modded a few myself I just really like to get back into the YouTube community and start making videos again. If anybody has any ideas of what they'd like to see, drop me a comment down below. And I'll do my best to accommodate. Uh, I like to set up a weekly video, but I don't always have time for it. But. At least for the first several videos, I will go through some of my favorite pipes and favorite tobaccos and just give you my thoughts on them. Uh, I will showcase my mod cobs as I make them. Like some of my favorite tobaccos are, like I said, Burleys, like Prince Albert, all the other over-the-counter Burley blends, like Carter Hall, Half and Half, Sir Walter Riley, Velvet. Some of my more higher-end Burleys are like Old Joe Crayons, Haunted Bookshop, Solani Aged Burley Flake, uh, Peterson Irish Flake. You know, this goes on and on and on. Uh, I've been hit hard by PAD and TAD, so my collection has grown immensely since I started making videos. But for now, I'm just content being a pipe smoker. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember to pack a bowl for me, light it up, burn it down, have fun, enjoy the hobby. Sweet smokes y'all.